here is what we're starting with. I went ahead and painted, hey Dee, I know, is it not gorgeous? I turned off all other electronics up in the house, so uh, I'm hoping that this is gonna be really, really nice. Not new phone yet, because today was a crazy day, so uh, definitely new phone over the weekend. I lost my glue, nope, there it is. Okay, so here is what I've done. I've taken my lamp black from Americana and I went ahead and sketched myself a little tiger paw. And I actually really lightly sketched myself a, a little heart too. You just can't see it because it's as light as it can get. But inside the shattered circle, you will get the template for this, okay? So we try to give you all the templates that we use inside the shattered circle so that you don't have to worry about sketching. You'll just be able to trace it onto your canvas and move right on and don't waste any time because we're all about being efficient and effective and creating beautiful art. And our job is to help you do that, to help you create beautiful pieces without wasting time trying to figure out how to make it happen. So that is our main goal in life. Okay, I'm going to take a drink. <sighs> and here el here's what else I've done. Okay, so my friend's puppy's name is Clyde. Don't make me cry. So what I did was I used a silver Sharpie, okay? I used a silver Sharpie, and, and that's the one I used to sign my art with. And I put his name on the paw with the silver Sharpie, but here's what else I did. Uh, Sandra, this is an eight by eight. Okay, this is a, no, actually this is a 10 by 10, I'm sorry. It's a 10 by 10. So after I used my Sharpie, I just took this little can of poly. This comes from Home Depot, and I just popped a little bit of poly right there on top of where I used that marker, because it is a Sharpie. Hey, Colleen, yay! So uh, I didn't want that to uh, smear or leak because Sharpies tend to do that. So I went ahead and just sprayed one little quick coat of uh, Minwax Poly over the top of that and let it dry for like an hour. Okay, so now we are ready to go. And so, I, like I said, I've traced a little heart on here. And what I'm going to do is use my Aileen's Clear Tacky Glue. And we're going to use this. This is the cutest little glass you've ever seen. This comes from Michael's, okay? And it says Ashland Decorative Filler, and you get it in the floral department in Michael's. And it's a little, let me see how many ounces. <clears throat> I think it's like uh, 15 ounces. Oh, it, here it is, 15 ounces of glass. And I love it. Yes, it's a wa any water-based poly, but you want something that is a quick dry. And I would do, make sure it's a spray, uh, spray, Sheila, and not something that you brush across. Just a quick spray. Okay, so here is that um, glass that comes out of that little bucket, and I love it because it's smaller. It's like an eighth inch, so it's teeny tiny little glass. And I get this at... Uh, Michael's and I think it's like six bucks but I always drag the husband in so I can get it on with a coupon okay because I'm cheap that way <laughs> and see and that's something else I have to tell you I'm not cheap I'm frugal because I will spend money when I need to and on something I really want but I'm super frugal and I do not like wasting money or anything like that so I'm always gonna give you and show you the most cost effective way to create your art okay that is my goal is to help save you money so that you can make a profit yay janet let's add janet to the board oh my goodness janet let's add her Woohoo! all right we gotta raise up I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set your name right here because I don't want to have to flip the camera and when we're done we'll add you to the board Miss Janet yes I'm so excited everybody give Janet some some thumbs up heart something okay so I'm very frugal and you know that if you've watched I'm very frugal with my resin uh, 
uh, Catherine, it's uh, theshatteredcircle.com. There should be a link somewhere up here. It's www.theshatteredcircle.com. Yeah, senior discounts, absolutely. I'm only 56, but I do get, yeah, we're going to glue it. We're, we're going to get to that, Teresa. I was, I was about to do that. I get, I get squirrel real easy. You know that. <laughs> I get off on a tangent and I get squirrely. So anyway, um, <clears throat> the link to join is www.theshatteredcircle.com. Let me know if you join, love, so I can add you to our posties. So, um, yeah, isn't this sweet? It's so sweet. I love it so much. So I've added uh, Clyde's name to the paw, and we're just going to sketch out the heart with the glue. I guess that's what I was talking about. <laughs> you know, Rima, it depends, because at the Goodwill here in my little town, on Tuesdays, if you're over 55, they'll give you a sen senior discount. So I always go on Tuesdays to buy my glass or whatever I'm buying. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm all about being a senior if it involves a discount. <laughs> yes, Judy, you are on the board. I'll show you when we get raised back up. So, I am going to just color in where I drew out my little heart, okay? So, we're going to just color in with the glue because this tiny glass that comes from Michael's is loosey-goosey, okay? So, it does want to move around. So we're gonna help it not move around, okay? Oh, <laughs> they always ask me, and uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I'll show you my ID, I'm proud. Lord, the only alternative to not being a senior at my age is to be dead, right? I'll take it. So I am just gonna sketch out my little heart. Can you guys see the sketching at all? No? <laughs> I break it, girlfriend. I bust it. I break it. I make sailboats, flower petals, all kinds of stuff. Bust a move. Okay, so got a pretty decent layer of glue down because you don't want to just add um, this really small glass without the glue. Hey, Tammy. So, um, make sure that you put a little glue down, okay? So, I am just going to use my, <laughs> with the coupon, go girl. I'm going to use my tiny little glue, um, glass. I'm going to pick out some of the bigger pieces because this is going to be really small. So, I'm going to make sure I'm not throwing down any oversized pieces. And we're going to just start getting... Thank you. Inga's on point. I'm, we're just going to start laying in that glass within that glue line and make a sweet little heart to go. I agree, Gina. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. Totally on point with that. Okay, so I am just going to line up, and I love these little baby pieces. They are so good for this kind of stuff, for little small things. <laughs> to color my hair. <laughs> oh, girl, that's funny. Then I use Fritz. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, too. I am... Frit makes me nervous. I mean, I showed in the inner circle how to create some frit one time, and there is, you can get frit on, uh, I've bought it on eBay and on Etsy before, but it's, I'm such a loose cannon when it comes to art that, I, you know, the last time I used some frit, it spread out too much because I didn't use my glue first, and I made a mess, and then I get my panties in a wad, and, uh, have a little moment. <laughs> so look how cute this is. Okay, I'm gonna stop moving my hands. Frit is, it's glass that is just beat down to a pulp. <laughs> it's just really small, almost glitter-like, but you can get varying sizes of frit. So it's just glass that is uh, um, 
hammered down smaller, like almost like uh, glitter, depending on the size. So I am gonna, it's not focusing again. I may have to turn my iPad off. It's hard for me not to see, it's hard for me to uh, see your questions. Richard's gonna have to give us a frit lesson. So I am just really sprinkling in little bits of glass to make my heart. And normally I wouldn't take this much time to put glass on a piece, but this is very particular. Is, is it okay? So, th but this piece is really particular and in, in, you know, there's just small amounts of glass. So I want to make sure that um, it all goes in the right place. So I'm being a little more particular than normal. Look at Inga. Look at Inga go. So I'm just going to continue to apply this glass. I love it. It's so tiny. So tiny, but it's still that tempered glass. And it, this particular glass is, um, what I'm trying to say, use your word, Cindy, uh, mirrored. It, it is reflective. It has that mirrored backside. So it is super, super pretty. And look, guys, I may, for, just for this piece so far, I may have used a tablespoon of glass. So I'm all about frugal, frugal, frugal Cindy. <laughs> oh, frugal Cindy. Look at you guys. So yeah, the door is closed tomorrow and we so don't want you to miss out because it seems like I'll always have somebody on the day after email me and it hurts my heart to say I'm sorry, but you know, it's like an integrity thing for me. So I always just say, I hope you can join us next time because you know, once the doors close, if I say we're closing, then we have to close because for me, it's all about my own integrity. So we hope you guys don't delay and miss out on that. And I'm getting a little crazy here, getting out of my lines. No, it's so cute. It does look the same as Pacific Blue. It's a smidge lighter, but it is basically, yeah, it's Pacific Blue. It looks a, a tad bit lighter to me, but not enough that it you would think it was a different color. So, yeah. So, guys, in the Shattered Circle, we help you with everything. We don't leave anything to chance. We help you, uh, we teach you where to source glass, where to find glass. You know, our goal is to save you time, time and money. Because listen, when I first started out doing glass art, nobody wanted to help me. There were only a few artists that I knew of and they were not receptive to helping me find my way, not at all. And I hated that, it made me feel bad and it made me sad <laughs> because there's totally enough customers in the world for all of us. So my goal is to provide that for you because I made a lot of mistakes. I wasted a lot of money, wasted a lot of time because I was just in experiment mode. You know, I was constantly trying new things and it wouldn't work out. So I did all the work now you guys get to enjoy the benefits because I want to save you that time and heartache and headache that I had to go through because nobody wanted to help me. That's just my goal. One more little piece up here. So we teach you uh, how to source glass, where to source glass, how to break it, how to, where to find it, all the things, how to tint resin, uh, nothing is left to chance, and if there's something we're missing that uh, somebody needs to know, then we always address that as well. We never leave you hanging. 
We always want you to be able to find the answer. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Uh, pull your tip out some. This tip? I don't know what tip you mean. Eek, eek, eek. Oh, I'm gonna keep my hands. Heart, oh, oh, right here, like that. See, y'all, I have my nose on it, and I see what you're saying now. I have my nose on it, so it's hard for me to see. I need to stand up, and uh, I'm going to take, is that better? Oh, it is off. I see what you're saying now. Let me stand up and take a peek. Um, let me look this way. We need to go this way a little, I think. Let me look. Yes, and that's what it is, G. It's hard to ask somebody for help sometimes. It's hard, and you know, if you don't know the terminology and you don't really know kind of what you're talking about, and then you get slammed or you get shot down and nobody wants to help you, then, you know, that is so discouraging. And so we do not do that. We want to help you. We want you to make money. We want to encourage you so that you feel good about um, creating your arts. Woohoo! It looks good now, don't it? So that is our goal, is to help you skip all that stuff I had to go through, all the wasted time, the wasted money, the wasted resources, doing, wasting so many canvases because I wasn't doing something right. Hey, Janice! Um, so that is our goal, is to help you eliminate that step in your life. I had to take a drink, guys. I was so thirsty. So yeah, it, you know, our goal is to help you skip that step because that, to me, is like the worst thing to have to go through when you are trying to make a pretty. Yes, it would. I think so. I mean, Paul's a Paul, isn't it? Is it not adorable? Yes, I love it. You fused glass, have you? Awesome. You know, I fell in love with glass a long time ago and I thought I was gonna get a kiln and do some fancy uh, warm glass stuff, but then I fell in love with this. Yes, Sheila, that is going to be something we'll be doing in October. We're going to go over how to create your own Facebook page. We're going to go over how to price your artwork. We're going to get, go over places to sell, you know, uh, platforms to sell your art. And I will tell you this, around Christmas time, Facebook is the place. I do uh, live sales on my Facebook page during the holidays and they are very successful. So we're gonna walk you through how to do a live sale on your page and all, we're gonna teach you all the things. Nothing, we're not holding on to anything. Nothing is sacred in our group except for loving each other. We're gonna tell you all the things you need to know. Aww. One of my cats, Robin, is like a doll. He'll come when you call him. He will uh, answer you. I mean, it's hilarious. Yes, we'll talk about shipping. I'll even show you, Patty, how to pack your art and products you can use and how to build your own box. Because sometimes you can't, it's hard to find just the right size box. So I'm gonna show you how to take a box that uh, is readily available to you and break it down and recreate it to make a box to fit your art pieces. So yes, we're gonna talk about all the things. Okay, did I miss anybody besides Janet that I need to add to the board real quick? Roll Tide, doggy. Okay, I'm gonna raise up real quick, uh, upside down because I want to add Janet to the board. So if anybody else joined, will you let me know so I can add you to the board? Janet, here we go. We're gonna add you right here. Oh, yay Janet, so exciting. Yeah, well, all my cats come when you shake the treat bucket. 
but Biscuit is my old man. He is 14 almost, and he comes when you call him. He's the only one who does, but he does come when you call him. So I am going to flip you back down. I just wanted to put Janet on the board before I forgot. Uh, and if there's anybody else who has joined, speak now so I can get you on the board before we flip back down and mix resin. So I am gonna scoot my canvas up without, ooh. Okay, hang on guys. Patience. Let's be patient. Mama's trying. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn it back down. So I know, I have a biscuit, Teresa, and a jelly. <laughs> the board here, let me show you what the board is, Connie. The board is members who have joined the Shattered Circle this week. So we started spelling art, and then we ran out of art, we ran out of letters. <laughs> so we just started adding them to the side. Yes, pool noodles work. They have uh, lots of stuff at Home Depot you can use. Um, Cynthia, that was uh, Richard is the fella who joined. Hey, Bianca, how are you, love? Yeah, it's backwards, but I'm gonna, we're gonna turn back down so I can mix resin. I'm gonna show you how to pour resin. And uh, actually, I already poured it, but let's, I'm gonna go back down real quick so you can see. So now that's upside down, isn't it? Hang on. There you go. So I'm gonna scooch this up. I already poured resin into my cups. It's a 10 by 10, Catherine. I'm gonna get my gloves on and get prepared for resin. Now, I only, I'm only mixing an ounce and a half of resin for this because look how much glass we have. Hardly any pork chop. Oh, yeah, I got a biscuit and a jelly. <laughs> you are on the board, Jeanette. Absolutely, you are in, let me see if I can find found you. You're in the A. You're on the top of the A. So A plus for you. <laughs> yes, Julie, I think so. You know, it's what you make it. I like to, I am more of a, a farmhouse kind of person. I like, yes, Maureen, you're up there too. We'll show everybody when we're done. Uh, we'll get a close up. Um, I'm more farmhouse in my decor. And so I like to do a lot of crackly kind of stuff. So in the Shattered Circle, we teach you how to take some of these pieces and make them more folksy or less contemporary, more uh, farmhouse. So we do a lot of crackle, a lot of stuff on board, a lot of stuff uh, abstract. So absolutely, I think so. Absolutely. Okay, so what I've done, because I'm working with a gallon mix, okay? I'm working with a two gallon kit, which is huge, okay? So, and it's part A and part B. I went ahead and poured my part A and part B, and I know this makes you cringe when I put this on my canvas, but I've I already poured that because that's a big, heavy um, container, and I was just pouring a teeny, teeny amount, so I didn't want to make a mess live on camera because I'm a little shaky today. Um, I have arthritis in my hands anyway, so sometimes I'm a little shaky, but I also overserved myself at our little going away party last night, and so there's that. Yeah, shame on me. So anywho, we are gonna just pour, I have three quarters of an ounce of part A, three quarters of an ounce of part B. Absolutely, take what you learn and do your own twist. And it, they do it all the time inside the group. So I'm gonna pour Part A into my cup. Get the, all that out. I'm excited to get started too because it's we're about to do Christmas and I love doing Christmas so much. Last year I did a little Grinch tree. You know, one of those trees that's like Dr. Seuss. It's all crooked with one ball hanging off the top. So excited, and we are gonna do, go Janice, go Janice. We are gonna do a art piece every week and at a minimum, 
an art piece every week for Christmas in the Shattered Circle. So it's going to be so much fun. Okay, so I have all of both of my cups poured into my little eight ounce solo cup, okay? So now I need to mix this for three minutes. So uh, Rima, are you in the house? Can you time me or Cynthia? Somebody time me and let me know. I'm gonna raise back up so I can talk to you about mixing while I mix. Let me flip myself back right side up. There we go. Okay, so I've poured both parts into my cup. Art Resin is a 50-50 mix, so you have to have 50%. Patty, woo, let me write you down. Let me stop, I gotta stop, hang on. <laughs> Patty, S, yay. We'll put you on the board in just a second. Will you tie me, Reem? I'm going now. Okay, so you have to have 50-50 mix. So if you're new, you wanna mix in two cups, okay? You wanna mix part A in one cup, part B in the next, and then combine them together so that you can ensure that you have a proper mix. Because an improper mix will create a big, fat, nasty, sticky mess, and then you'll be sad. And we don't want you to be sad, okay? So I've poured 50% of, uh, all right, I have three quarters of an ounce of part A and three quarters of an ounce of part B into my cup, and we're gonna mix for three minutes. Now, you don't wanna mix like you're beating egg whites, okay? You wanna stir really slow, scrape your sides, and stir really slow to keep from incorporating a ton of air bubbles. Now, it's gonna have bubbles. It's always gonna have bubbles anytime you're mixing this way. It's just whipping bubbles in. But if you beat it really fast, like uh, like you're beating egg whites, you're gonna have so many bubbles that your resin is gonna start turning white and then it is gonna be the battle royale, I promise. It's gonna be so hard to get all those bubbles out with your heat gun that you're just gonna wanna throw that art piece across the room. Another thing that I had to learn the hard way, thank you very much because they, nobody tells you not to whip your resin. Nobody tells you to stir slow. So yeah, stir slow, Get just get it mixed. That's why you do it for three minutes. You just stir for three minutes and just take your time and do it nice and slow. So let me look down in the bottom of the heart. No gap, it's probably a reflection because it's just touching. So we're stirring, stirring, stirring. And you know what, while we stir, guess what I'm gonna do? I know it's gonna be hard to stir and do this, but we're gonna add Patty to the board. Stirring, I promise. Patty, right here, baby. Right there. Woohoo! Shalane, look, there's you. <laughs> Elizabeth Peace, Melissa, I'm stirring. Maureen, right here, baby. Jeanette, right here. <laughs> oh, you can't see me, it's not high enough. Yay, absolutely, D. You're talking about uh, the paw? I will post the template in the morning for the paw. Now this is a paw for a 10 by 10, so if it's bigger, you may need to, uh, make, you, you may need to uh, make it bigger on your printer before you print it. Oh, I'm mixing. My girl's got to keep keep hold on uh, hold on me. Make sure I'm doing right. <laughs> Yay, D. These look, guys, these are such good Christmas gifts. So if you start um okay. Oh. <laughs> if you go ahead and make a couple of these now and they don't even have to be personalized at before you um, do the resin. You can use the Sharpie right over the top and then maybe <laughs> Rima and uh, Rima wants me to stir a little longer and then add their name and do a really thin coat over the top. So I'm Yeah, there you go. So uh, you could personalize these for Christmas presents. Oh my gosh You would they would sell like hotcakes. I promise. I did a couple about two years ago for um, my cousin who lives in Memphis is um, 
Uh, she is over, she does a lot of stuff with animals with, she actually works for a pet store. She is a manager of a pet store and they do a lot of fundraisers and stuff. And so I made her a great big piece with a heart and a dog paw in it and they sold it for $300. So they made $300 off that piece. Such a good little thing. Yay! Okay. Yes, make one and then you can take orders. And we're gonna teach you in the Shattered Circle how to post that one on your Facebook page and how to create uh, enough buzz around it to get a bunch of orders from that. So careful what you wish for. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Rhonda. So I'm gonna turn it back down so we can get some resin on our piece. Let me see. I gotta flip myself upside down. Uh, oops, that was wrong. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's a 10 by 10. Let me get upside down. Here we go. All right, so here is our piece. And we are gonna start with, I'm gonna bring it back this way a little bit. It's 10 by 10. So we're gonna start with just our glass really lightly. Now remember, we added a bit of glue under that. Yay, let's put Janice on the board. I'm gonna write you down and then we'll put you on when we're done. Go Janice, love you sister. Did you quit that job yet? <laughs> Girl, a job that you hate is worse than anything. Okay, so remember we added a little bit of glue underneath here. So we are going to really lightly drizzle our resin over the top of our glass. Now we start with our glass first because it does like self-level and it will start, it'll go down through the glass and then it'll start running out the sides. And if you do it this way, then you uh, eliminate that having too much resin on your canvas and then it's running off the edge. So that is how, Ooh, let me write Clara down. Yay, Clara, we're gonna add some names to the board tonight. It's www.theshatteredcircle.com, Bianca. Okay, so yeah, I am all about teaching you how not to waste time and resin and money. We want to save you money, save you time, save you product, and then we're going to teach you how to sell, sell, sell. Because now is the time. Now's the time. So I'm just doing it on my glass first. And you can see, I don't know if you can see like right here, how it's seeping out away from the glass. We're going to use that to spread around. We are going to have fun. We're gonna use that to spread around and that's what helps us uh, save on resin. Because if we have, if we started with the outside and all the blank spaces, then we would definitely have too much resin and it would be rubbing, it would be running off the sides and making drips on the back side of your canvas. Now you can run a line of tape underneath the back of your canvas or on the sides of your canvas if you wanna ensure that you don't have a lot of runoff on the sides. And Patty, yes, there is not a problem with rubbing the canvas, uh, rubbing the resin on the sides. Just do it minimally so that you don't have bumps resin bumps on the underside of your canvas, but if you like resin on the sides, my, uh, uh, my thing would be to tell you to put a bead of tape because on the underside of your canvas so that when you, when those bumps start to collect and form, they're forming on the tape and not on your canvas. So you can come back within 24 hours. You gotta pull that tape within 24 hours though. Cause if you don't, it's gonna be a booger to get off. Thanks for blessing the page. Okay, so guys, today we did a, uh, we finished up our flag and our Facebook did not like my video 
and they never it never got fully posted so you're not going to be able to watch that so all the people who wanted to go and watch it and be in the drawing for that flag we're going to add this video to that sh like and share process so because you ain't, aren't going to be able to like and share the other one so anybody who likes this pain or share likes and shares this live we are going to add you in our little hat, and you might win our flag that we're going to give away on Saturday. Okay, so I didn't quite use all of this. I probably still have, I don't know, just a little bit left. So I would say, what did I miss? A mix an ounce and a half. I would say only an ounce, okay? Only an ounce for this 10 by 10 piece. Because I have at least a half an ounce left. And I also have something stuck in my resin. Hang on. Let me get that out before I rub. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just use my hands to spread all that resin around in the areas where there is no glass. So I'm just going to really gently... Yeah, an ounce is probably the perfect amount because I have a lot of resin on here. Way more than I needed. Oops. I want to move that. So just an ounce max. So I'm just going to spread it around in the areas where there's no glass using my hand. You can use a brush to do this too, but let me just warn you, a brush tends to leave brush hairs or residue, dust particles, that sort of stuff in your um, resin when you start using a brush. So I almost always just use my hands so that I don't have to dig out little um, bristles, little brush bristles. Okay, so I got a lot of resin on here, guys. I'm actually gonna see if I can pull some of it off because it's kind of flooded. And I always have a spare piece that uh, I can apply resin to. <laughs> I'm just pulling it off with my fingers. So I've got a little Christmas tree over there that I need to finish. So I can just pour this right on top of that. Because I got a little resin happy. And I don't like to waste resin. I'm not a waster. Okay, I think that's good. Let's see. Yeah, I would resin again. Or you could, uh, I, I really, you know what? I use a marker to sign my name, and it it does really well over the top of resin. So I don't think it's a hundred percent necessary to resin again, but you know, you might have to play that by ear and just do a thin brush coat, or you know, just a thin coat, maybe half an ounce. See, this right here is enough. That if I had, if this was already dry and I personalized it and then wanted to add some resin, this would be plenty, just like a tablespoon. So, yeah. Thank you, Inga. You, my girl. You, my girl. Okay, so it all is covered really nicely. I don't see any more debris, any brush hairs, or any dust, or anything like that. So, I think it is time to deglove and get this party started. So we, I, Patty, I do that in the Shattered Circle and I believe you are a member as of five minutes ago. So we are definitely gonna do that. Let me see if, I don't think I have one right here close to me. So I would have to walk into the other room. Oh, no, here's one. Okay, so here is a Christmas tree that I did because I always have cute little pieces handy if I mix too much resin. So this is one of those pieces and here's how I sign my name. I always sign it on the side, not on the front. I don't sign on the front. You could if you wanted to, it's just personal preference. But I always sign on the side. Let me see if I can find it. I sign it on the side, it just says Cindy. And then I use a stamp on the back. Let me see if I can find the camera. I use a stamp on the back that says Handmade with Love by Art Shattered. So that is my process. Yay, Kelly! Add and Kelly. Add and Kelly. Hang on. And I, yes, I use a metallic silver marker. Kelly! 
We're going to add you all to the board in one quick second. Awesome sauce. Okay, so now what we have to do is pop these air bubbles. So I am going to use a torch. And do not be intimidated by this torch, guys. This is a huge torch that I have used for, well, I haven't used this thing. I've used this thing for years and years and years because I've been doing resin for almost 10 years, okay? So I started learning uh, resin when I was doing countertop systems. So you do not have to use this monster. You can use just a little creme brulee torch, a little kitchen torch, or even one of those small heat guns that you can get at Hobby Lobby over in the... Um, where they sell the crickets and all that stuff. I see I got a little something fell in my piece. Hang on, a little piece of debris. So yeah, you can use a small heat gun uh, or something like that. You do not have to use this. Now the point of this heat is to pop those bubbles that form when you mix resin. So what you wanna do if you're using a torch, do not ever let the flame of your torch touch your canvas it's the heat that pops the bubbles not the fire okay that's why a heat gun works well too and you can see that i am just going really fast across my canvas back and forth you don't ever want to stop and focus on one spot because it will burn the resin and then in a day or two you'll end up with a nasty little yellow spot and again you'll be sad because it will be ruined we do have ways to uh, fix that. It depends on the art piece. We can show you, and that's something else we do in the Shattered Circle, is show you how to fix boo-boos. We show you how to uh, correct uh, bubbles that uh, are left in your canvas. I gotta pull that little piece of fuzz out. Uh, we show you how to fix um, a spot of yellow, if it's possible, how to fix cracks, how to build your own canvas all the things we leave nothing to chance at all so i'm going to turn you back up because is that not the cutest thing ever